There are many benefits to lightening your backpack weight when heading out into the backcountry. A lightweight backpack generally leaves you with much more energy, which improves your mood. It's a lot more comfortable, and many people express having more energy to hike further distances each day, so you could travel greater distances if you wanted to and see more, etc. Many experts recommend to carry no more than 20% of your weight. To put that into perspective, the average weight of a woman in the United States is 170.8 pounds, so 20% would be a little over 34 pounds. While this is great to do when possible, this is not always realistic for a number of reasons. The gear you already own may be heavier. You may not have the finances to invest in ultralight backpacking gear. You may be carrying gear for your child or your children or your dog, etc. I myself am about 130 pounds, so getting my pack down to about 26 pounds while backpacking with my daughter isn't realistic with the gear that we have, but there are still ways you can reduce the weight of your pack to get closer to that ideal weight. First, pack just the 10 essentials or 11 essentials. These include navigation, including a map and compass and GPS device if you have one, a headlamp, sun protection, including sunglasses, sunscreen, and a hat, first aid items like your first aid kit, insect repellent, personal medications, etc., a knife, a way to make fire, like with waterproof matches or a lighter, some kind of shelter like a tent or bivy, food, You want enough meals for the number of days that you're hiking, plus an extra day, as well as a stove, canister, pot, and spork. A water filter and water bottle. Extra clothes. You just need an extra set of layers in case the pair you are wearing gets wet or damaged somehow, along with extra socks. You can always do trail laundry if needed. And last but not least, feminine hygiene products if you still menstruate. Bring them even if you aren't expecting your period, as the exertion for backpacking can unexpectedly change your cycle. After you have all of these weighed and packed, then you can explore the options for adding comfort items like pillows, camp shoes, etc. We will go into more details about the 11 essentials later in this Backpacking 101 course. Other tips include packing lighter food. Pack food that weighs little, but is calorically high. Dehydrated foods can be excellent for this, either store-bought, or made at home, or things like nuts. Also, remove any unnecessary packaging before hitting the trail. Make sure you're balancing carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, which we will talk more about in another video. You can also share the load to reduce pack weight. If you're backpacking with others, divvy up your communal gear to spread the weight more evenly, depending on each of your comfort levels. Tents can be divided with poles, rainfly, footprint, and the tent itself. One person doesn't have to carry the whole tent. Food can be divvied up into different food bags. Not everyone has to carry each item. Just make sure you don't separate if you do this. Also consider borrowing lighter gear from friends and family if you can't reduce the weight of your pack enough. Or if you're able to, consider investing in your own lightweight gear. Another great option is to resupply your food for longer treks. If you're planning a week-long trek, consider trails that have a place you could duck out for a resupply. You can mail yourself food or make a food cache. That way, you don't have to carry all of the food you'll need for the entire trip. One of my favorite ways to reduce weight is to plan day trips. I'll backpack to a certain point, set up camp, and then hike with just day essentials to other destinations along the trail nearby without being slowed down by my huge pack. I can cover a lot more ground much faster and can still enjoy the parts that are a little bit off the beaten trail. This is particularly helpful when you have kids. Finally, you can also buy used ultralight gear. If you can't or don't want to spend a lot of money on ultralight gear, you can always look for used options. Alpine Sisters and REI both have used gear for sale, and sometimes you can get really lucky and find ultralight gear. You can also check Facebook Marketplace or even your local Buy Nothing or hiking group on Facebook. Do you have other tips or tricks to reduce your pack weight? Feel free to leave them down in the comments below. As always, if you liked this video, it would be super helpful if you gave it a like and subscribed. Until next time.